Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be covering three topics. They are why exceptions now, why exceptions at all, and exceptions as a string. Guys, I have uploaded a complete Python programming subject tutorials. I'll provide a link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. At first, I will explain exceptions as a string. Normally, before Python version 1.5. Programmers used to create their own exceptions by using strings. This example, I created exception, and normally we are creating this exception by using strings. So in double quotations, I written error, wrong input. This is nothing but exception which is created by me. But we don't consider it as exception. We consider it as string. So there is no relationship between exceptions and strings. So in order to overcome this problem, from Python version 1.5. They introduced exception classes in order to create our own exceptions. By using exception classes, we can create our own exceptions. From Python version 1.6, if you want to create any string exceptions, just after starting Python, you need to type command that is minus x. So this minus x command will provide standard exceptions as a string. And whenever Python version 2.5 begins, they remove string exceptions completely. So from Python version 2.5. User cannot create any string exceptions. They remove string exceptions completely because there is no relationship between strings and exceptions. So these string exceptions are bad idea. Next, I will explain why exceptions now. As you know, while developing any software, definitely you will get error. So in present computer world, we need to handle those errors. If we handle errors, then whatever the software that we are creating, it will work correctly. At present, we are running applications on graphical user interface. So softwares must be created correctly without any error. At present, we are using internet, and we are using many e-commerce websites like Amazon, and we are performing many transactions online. For example, let us consider we created one web page. If I enter some wrong input in that web page, then that web page must have capability to display some error message regarding that exception. Nowadays, many applications are used by millions of people. So special care must be taken in order to smooth flow of application, and even in any error situation. Application should close successfully. So, if you are creating any applications by using Python programming, by using exception handling, you can achieve it. Next, I will explain why exceptions at all. Exception is nothing but it is an error that occurs during execution of program. So, when any error occurs, Python generate an exception in order to handle those error. Whenever you want to develop any code, then there is chance that error may occur. So, in order to handle those errors, we use exception handling. If any error occurs, then program stops execution and it will display. Play some error message. Nothing but exception. Only after handling those exceptions, you can execute your program. 